Hello everyone, I am IA Roadkill, and it has been a while since I have made a recording. I have found a game that I am interested in, Gold Hunter. It's been released in Alpha, and I'm playing it. So let's get into it. Okay, we are back. I'm going to look at the tree here for this. If you hit page up, it opens up your tablet. And now you get a cursor doesn't do a thing. There, I clicked on the little icon at the bottom to open this up. This is your settings. Oh, you can make your tablet black or you can make your tablet white. Nice. And how do I go back? Hit the power button or the side button. Right now the uh, bug report isn't working. Oh, I was just clicking on it really fast and it popped up. So evidently bug reports are going to show up here. Nothing is working at the moment, but that'll be a good place to look for things in the future. But if you hit the question mark, this is all of your helps. Vehicles, how to buy items, how to dig, how to run the gold. And then it talks about your drone. And I believe page up again gets rid of it. So, now I'm going to rotate my pan. I'm going to hold down the right mouse button, make my pan semi level, get it underneath the nozzle, drop it. Oh, I don't think that's close enough. Gonna highlight the handle. And I'm not getting any in it. Get the bucket underneath it. There we go. Oh, I was already dropping it. So we've got water in our bucket. And I want to do this in the shade. So let's come over here. Actually, I don't like that because it's not level. Let's bring it over here. There we go. I didn't want any discoloration in the bottom of the pan. The reason I'm picking this... Whoa. The reason I'm picking this spot... Yeah, come on. Turn over. Is that the gold should show up well. All right, to pan for your gold. That's what we've been waiting for. Grab your bucket of pay dirt, your concentrate. Go over top of the pan. And when you see the pan highlighted underneath it, click E and it'll drop a little bit in your bucket. Hold E to pick it up hover over the wash basin and then change camera angle with F. And now all you have to do is rock your mouse back and forth. This animation I hope gets fixed because this is nothing like panning for gold. And of course my very first one they're gonna make me work for. My goodness. You can get a nugget normally after three or four shakes. Oh, come on, this is ridiculous. Well, they're going to make me work for it. And you can, oh, I've got my cursor floating around. I can see it. There it is. And once your gold pops up, your pan automatically tips over. You hit F to move your camera out of the way again. Your gold stays down in the tub right there. So your gold piece is there and then a what I'll call a hit box is also in the tub that does not move so that you can pick the gold up easy. Anyway, we want to do that five more times. 
you get f six pans out of a full bucket. See how fast it gets me. Yeah, see, gold popped really fast that time. And neither one of these has much weight to them. They're both small. Come on, give us a big nugget this time. Come on, come on, come on, come on, there it is, oh, that one's a little bigger, not, not huge, okay, it's not bigger at all, I think this might be my worst pan of the game ever, or I'm sorry, my worst bucket. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that's what I'm talking about. That's what we want. Come on, Bucket. There we go. We need to get a couple more of those before we're done with this Bucket. You see the size of those side by side? Jeepers. Oh, another good one. Okay, now it's stuck to the pan. If this happens, don't get alarmed. Uh, I'm just going to drop my pan. I'm going to hover over it. And I can collect with F now. Oh, it's not going to let me anymore. I thought I did this once. All right, I'm going to collect with my small bottle first. So I've hit the number three. So now that three pickup is highlighted. Now I'm going to F to collect and automatically went in my jar and you can see the little gold band on the outside of the circle. So we've got partial jar fillage, we'll call it. I'm gonna unhighlight it because we have one more bucket or one more pan to do out of our bucket. Like I said, there's six in a full bucket. Does not matter. It does not matter what size the nuggets are. That's a good one. Your jars only hold a certain amount of nuggets. Okay, so I'm going to have six nuggets total. One's already in the jar. I've got five more in the pan down here in the buck, uh, wash tub. So I'm going to highlight three, and now I'm going to get my cursor over top of the silhouette. I'm going to hit F to collect, and it disappears. I'm going to go do the next one, and the next one, and you'll see as I collect these that my jar, that gold band around the jar, is going around. And one more. There we go. So I have picked up six pieces. And that jar is over half full now. I'm going to hit three again, so it's unactive. And that's how you pan for gold. Now I'm going to fill four and five, my medium and my large jars, with the same amount, one bucket full of concentrate. And I'll show you what the jars look like. But that's going to take me a little bit. So I'll do that and then I'll come back to you after I get them all panned out. I think I am going to, next time I'm in town, I'm going to buy the mats like I was talking about. I'm going to buy another black one for here. I'll move this blue one here. I'll move this blue one up here. And then I'll buy another green one. Well, that's kind of handy. I only need to buy two mats. One black, a small black, and a big green. I can't remember that. I'll probably forget. And don't forget, you got to turn your water on. Highlight your shovel. And you're back at it. I will be back with you in a little bit. There we go. Another one. Oh, 
I'm stuck in my hole. Let's see. Let's see. Shovel. Jump. And you can't. You gotta move at the same time you jump. There we go. Turn the water off. So this is our second clean up. Roll it. Pick it up. Dump it. Gotta get the bucket highlighted. Dump it. Put it back. Roll it. Pick it up. Dump it. Dump it. Put it back. Roll it. Pick it up. Dump it. Put it back. Roll it. Pick it up. Dump it. Come on. Dump it. Put it back. Quite had that bucket in the right spot. It's crowding me. Oh, for Pete's sake. Did it go in there? There it goes. All right, we're going to go pan this one. Where's my. There it is. Whoop. Overshot. Wasn't. Oh, I left it in the tree shape. Alright. Hover over the pan. Wow, that's a big one. I have to come around here. My mouse is acting up on me. Oh, no, no. Didn't mean to drop it. There, let's try that. That's better. I don't like the highlight that the pan gets every now and then like that right there I don't like that it shouldn't be highlighted while I'm in this position doing what is that that is the most teeniest tiniest little speck did it stay in there I think let's tip the pan up and check the edge yep it's still in there oh, that's gonna be fun to find in the For putting in the jar. Oh my goodness, you can see it just to the left of that big one. See, now I wouldn't mind it if it did that. It pops it off and it doesn't tip the pan over all the way. But still, that's not, that's not right. That's not the way you pan for gold. All right, highlight jar number four, or in position four. One, two, three, four, five. I only see five silhouettes. Where's the sixth one? Well, let's see here. There's one, two. Oh, I think I saw it right over here. Three, three, four, five, six. So, jar number two 
in position number two has six pieces jar in position number three has six pieces and notice it's only a quarter full so you can hold 24 pieces of gold in that one doesn't matter what size it's just 24 pieces all right I am going to go work on oh don't forget you need to unhighlight before you try to pick anything up and there's my shovel I am going to fill my next bucket which I left up here and I'll be back with you when I get ready to pan that bucket see you in a bit so I was gonna be sneaky and change the mats before I came back with a video and it's acting up and it won't let me put a mat in this middle position um, I've tried the blue one I've tried the green one let's go get the black one and I have not shared with you this building this is your storage area here either but nope so something is wrong with my pan my high banker so I'm going to save the game let's see if I unfreeze it and pick it up and shake it all about do the hokey pokey that's what it's all about all right we're gonna freeze it again and let's see if we can huh still won't take it well what to do if I reload this hole will be gone they're not saving landscape for each session it always starts over fresh beginning which I guess wouldn't matter too much uh, what am I not thinking of let's take them all out there we go back in business but as you can see the hole is gone just thought I would point that out to you because you would notice oh for Pete's sake there we go let's come on I was going to be so sneaky and have that done for the end of the next recording and now my holes missing oh and the door shut on the storage come on open up door automatically shuts on storage when you save the game or when you exit the game there all right so I am going to fill these mats and I will be back with you again 
Yes. All right. Time to start another hole. Okay, I had to come back in and show you. I was shoveling, and the gold bar is showing up around, or the gold circle is showing up around the shovel, meaning I have gravel in my shovel. And I'm coming over here, and I'm clicking on the side box of the high banker. At that time, it put gravel in the high bank. Sometimes, the picture doesn't show up, like right there. I've been putting it in a pile over here on the side of the high banker. I've been missing the whole... Yeah... So, I don't know how much I've done that. So, a word of caution to everyone. Make sure when you're clicking, you click on that center of the bottom pan so that it doesn't go on the ground on the side. We are full again. And my bucket's over here. And we're gonna come over here and grab... Whoa! What is going on there? Did I put a... glob of dirt there? I don't know. Let's come over here on this side. Alright. So. Roll it. Pick it up. Dump it. Put it back. Roll it. Pick it up. Put it back. Or dump it. Put it back. See, I gotta. I can't even do it right when I say it to myself. Oh, and I dumped the bucket. Oh, what the heck? We're glitching all over the place here for some reason. Roll it, pick it up, dump it, put it back. This is the hard one to get in and out. You got to get right in there. And same when you put it back. You see the black spot there. You got to highlight that area. It gives you no silhouette. Just know that that's it. Once it's there, you can see the silhouette to unroll it. Unroll it. What do we do? I drop it all the way through? Yep. There we go. It's because I was hitting the wrong key on that one. Oops, I did it there too. I hit E instead of F. Come on now. I don't want to unfreeze because I don't want to pick up the tray. Ah, oh, there's where it was. It's clear over here. Sometimes the hitbox gets mistaken. There we go. All right, so we are done with that for now. Let's take the bucket over, and we will pan it here quick and see what we end up with. Big nuggets, I hope. It's going to fight me again. There we go. That's a good sized nugget. Fairly good sized. Not really. Come on. There we go. Um, it's acting really glitchy right now, and I don't know why.
I am on multiplayer right now. I have been goofing around with Old Man Gaming and we're having a blast. He recorded a little bit and then I glitched and his truck glitched and so I think we're going to abandon that claim that was in number four we started. So I decided, wow, that one took forever. So I decided to, since I was going to make a video, I would do it on, can't talk and run the keys at the same time. I figured I'd do it on multiplayer so when he's ready to get back together, um, we can do it on the same map. I'm not worried about having a money advantage. Uh, if the audience doesn't like me doing that. Now how small can you get? Holy cow. I want that to fall out of the pan. Is it still in the pan? I don't know where it went. And of course it saved. Come on, highlight. I hope it's in there. We're going to look for six pieces. Oh my god. We're going for record breaking smallness in this batch. And this really is hard on Carpal Tunnel, so if the devs can come up with something other than a side-by-side -side shake, uh, it would be greatly appreciated. Forgot what I was doing there. Ah, uh, there's the gold piece right there. Let's try and get that right away. Is it still there? All right, let's rotate the pan. Oh, my cursor is up in where it shouldn't be. All right, let's flip that over. Now we will drop it. There we go. Now I'm going to highlight five. There it is. Collect. All right. Look at how small of a little. You can't pick item because. Oh, I still got five active. Okay. But look at how small that little yellow bar is in five. Tiny, teeny. All right. My voice is going. I think it's about time to finish this video, huh? I have fun making them. I have fun editing them. I'll never, well, I can't say never, but I'll probably not do live streams into videos without editing. First off, I don't know how to do live streams. I like the editing. It's fun. Takes a lot of time, but it's fun. Oh, come on. Give me the money. How fast can you shake a pan? Oh, come on. A little rotational. Back and forth, up and down. Uh, 
Oh, the devs are so cruel. All right, break time for an adult beverage. I should have timed it. How long does it take? Oh my God. Meanwhile, back at the ranch. So while we're waiting for this, you will be seeing a video. Oh, finally. Oh, and it's a monster. That's nice. You will be seeing a video in the future of Old Man Gaming and myself. Because we had fun together. And we're going to do more of it. All right. I got to find these ever so tiny little pieces. Come on. at it. Alright, let's start over here. One, two, three, four. I'm just spamming the F key hoping I get it. I think I got it right there all right so now look at jar five it is an eighth full so it's gonna hold uh, 48 so jar three holds ten I think Four holds 24, and five holds 48. In my opinion, guess. All right. Well, my voice is going to take a break, and when I come back, we are going to be at the shop. Okay, we are back at the shop. Now, I left my stuff, there it is, outside. Alright, let's turn it off. Parking brake, I don't know why. Alright, we have three jars of goodiness. And I'm going to show you the guy you sell gold to. First I'm going to unload. There's jar number three. Where'd you go? There it is. I'm going to put that right there. I'm going to highlight four. Unload it. Wow, what's doing clear over there? Come on, jar. And jar number five. All right. Well, oh, I already dropped it. Okay, let's take the small jar. Okay, and we're going to run up to... Remember now, each one of these has six pieces. I don't know if they're the same weight, but they're six pieces. You bring it up to this gentleman. You can read the help here. Here you can sell your gold with F. 
amount of gold. Don't forget to show him the gold bar or your bottle. Just hold the gold bar in your hand or activate the slot with the bottle or drop the bottle and hold it in your hand. We dropped the bottle and held it in our hand. And I have slot five highlighted and I can't unhighlight it. Hopefully that won't matter since nothing is in it. Well, yeah, hello. All right. So here's the screen. If you move this, what it's telling you here is if you made it into a gold bar, he'd give you 1,850 per ounce. As it is right now, he'll give us 1,500 per ounce. The slide is currently on zero ounces, so he's giving us zero dollars. Now, the slider will go up for the amount of gold in this jar. We have 1.1 ounce, <laughs> which is not much. If I were to hit sell, we would get 1,656, which is this lower amount. We're not going to do that. We're going to go down and we're going to smell this up a gold bar so we get the higher price. So we're going to cancel that. See ya. I'm going to smelt the gold bar here at the store because I'm scared to death to move the smelter, the furnace. Step one, get the furnace where you can see it. Um, let's put it right here. Rotate it around. We need to get to the handle. I guess that'll work. So we're going to highlight the handle. I'm right clicking, or I'm sorry, left clicking on the handle and it goes down automatically. I didn't have to do anything. It just went down. I'm going to highlight or right click on the lid. It'll swing open automatically. <sighs> left click. I left clicked on both of those. Now you take your jar. You can't take the crucible and put it in here. If I try, it says you have nothing in there to melt. So you take a small jar. We're going to, just like you did with your bucket and gold pan, hover it over and click your E key. And you can see there's gold dust in there. And if I were to put it in back in my number three slot. Notice there's no gold around the outside ring. So the jar is empty. All right, same thing. Oops, got to unhighlight that. Hover over it, click. Okay, evidently it doesn't raise the level of powder that's in there. I wish it would, devs, and you should be able to put you shouldn't be able to overfill it I mean you should be able to you should be able to see that level of powder going up 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 uh, let's see we're gonna put this back in four and we're gonna put this back in five that way we don't lose them now that we have gold in our crucible, we're going to pick it up. And now, it will, that looks pretty. Now we're going to put this inside of the furnace. And it looks electric. No, maybe that's propane coil down there. Not sure. All right, E to put it in there. You don't have to close the lid. You don't have to play with the handle. All of a sudden, it turns into molten gold. Now let's get the mold. And of course, it's going to fight me flipping over. Sorry about that. I'm going to put it, and we'll drop it right here. I'm going to hold E again to pick it up. 
we're going to hover over the mold There it is. Come on. Well, it's given me E to fill, so I'm going to click E. Just click it. It takes it all. And it takes a few seconds, and it's cool. So I'm going to just click it with E. Held E to move the mold out of the way, and there is our first bar of gold. All right, so this is the scales, if I would get it turned around. All right, here we go. Drop this on the ground. I should have it on a table. Let's put it on the safe right here. All right, it has an on-off button right there. If you hover on the on-off and right no, E, click E, it turns it on. Now let's get our gold bar and our set our gold bar on it. Don't know depth perception here, do I? There we go. We have a four, almost four and a half ounce bar of gold. Now we bought a table which seems to have disappeared. We bought a table. I know we bought a table. All right, uh, let's see, let's grab another table. Oh, and I didn't watch, you'll have to go back on the video. I'm gonna go back on the video. The green bar around the green number one in the lower right hand, left hand corner is getting bigger. The more you pan and smelt, the more experience you get, I guess. Maybe you get more gold every time. I think I shrunk. Now, I believe you need to flip the table over. Then you can highlight the legs and using your left mouse, just click and hold and the legs pop up. And then you can pick it up. Oh my goodness. And rotate. I didn't have it high enough to do that. Let's see. Hit myself in the head with the table. Wow. Thank you. Let's run outside with the table. Try not to kick everything on the way out. I'm not very good at moving that. All right. Let's take our bar, put it on the table, scales, put it on the table, safe, knock the table over. All right, where'd our gold bar go? Really? We lost the gold bar. It was on the table right here. And of course the game just saved.
Well, how to lose four ounces of gold in an instant. Oh, I wish a cloud would go over again. Yeah, that's nice. Well, easy come, easy go. That was going to be my next purchase right there. All right, well, let's go over the safe. How to, how to work the safe. I like it better when it's up in the air. You have to have volume for this. And I'm going to make sure my volume is turned up. All right. Look at the door and hit F. That brings you up close and personal with it. Now, you can hit four numbers and X to open it. Buh, 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 means that's not the code. All right. When you buy a safe... The code is four zeros. And you hear the click. That's a good sound. Left click the handle. It's open. Now back up with F, the camera. Right click the door and the door. Oh my God, where's that bar? How'd that bar get in the safe? Anyway, that's how you put gold in the safe. <laughs> the magician way. So, cool beans. That's your safe. Now, we'll put it back in there. I'm going to left click the door to shut it. I'm going to hit F so I can move in close. I'm going to close it. Now, I'm going to change the code. Right now, it is 0, 0, 0, 0. Correct. But I want it to be 9999. And you hit the star. Now, if you hit 0000, it's not the passcode. You can't get in it. The new code is 9999. Ta da! Now, I'm going to go over this again. What's the passcode? It's 9999. You have to do that first. Now give it a new passcode. 1, 2, 3, 4. And 1, 2, 3, 4 is the new passcode. I hit the wrong key, didn't I? Not the star, you need to hit the pound. I fought with that for so long because I forgot it wasn't this button, it was this button. I did that on purpose to show it to you. Hit F to back up. Click on the door and it opens again. I'm going to take the gold bar out of there. Whoops, throw it on the ground. Close that back up. And I'm hitting E, and the door is also opening and closing. So you can do it with E or uh, the left mouse. And I'm going to change this back to... Oh, I forgot. I have to do my code first. You have to tell it it's you, and then you can change it. And now the new passcode is back to the original 0000. I did that. So that if I'm back with Old Man Gaming, that he'll be able to play with the safe as well. And then we'll get our own safes and keep our gold separate. All right, so let's go sell this bar of gold. 
And I apologize if you can hear my neighbor. He's decided it's time to mow now. Hi. I'm going to have to give you a name. What's your name? I don't know. Are you a Fred? Are you an Alex? Are you Rudolph? No, you're not German, are you? Okay. So, E. We're going to get this higher price, 1850 Click and drag. We have 4,000, 4.4 ounces, $6,600. Yes, sell, sell, sell. All the way to the bank. We have seven. Oh, just shy. I was hoping we would have enough. I could go get the gold table and try that. Well, I'm going to have to go do some more high banking. And I'm going to try and get all this equipment back to the claim. And then I will see you again on another video.